Tehran Imam Khomeini International Airport Persian, Fruga Bainalmli Imam Khomeini IATA, IKA, ICAO, OIIE, is the primary international airport of Tehran, the capital city of Iran, located 30 km southwest of Tehran, near the localities of Robat Karim and Eslamshar and spread over an area of 13,500 hectares of land. Along with Maribad International Airport, Imam Khomeini Airport is one of the two international airports serving Tehran. All international flights in Tehran are currently served by this airport and all domestic flights are served by Maribad Airport. The airport has served about 9 million international passengers. It ranked third in terms of total passenger traffic in Iran after Tehran Maribad Airport and Mashhad Airport. The airport is operated by the Iran Airports Company and is one of the home base of Iran's international airlines, Iran Air, Mayan Air and some other. History <inaudible> Early planning Construction of the airport began prior to the 1979 Iranian Revolution. The original designers were Tippett's Abet McCarthy Stratton TAMS, an American engineering and architectural consulting partnership. A local joint venture was formed between TAMS and local firm Abdal Aziz Farmanfarmayan Associates called TAMS AFA, to carry out the full design and supervision of construction. Following the Iranian Revolution, however, the project was abandoned until the government of Iran decided to design and build the airport using local expertise. Construction French firm ADP was selected to head the local designers and engineering firms. A turnkey design and build contract was awarded to a local general contractor company, Case & Co., to carry out and manage the construction. After two years this contract was abandoned and was awarded to a banyad, the Mostazafan Foundation. <laughs> Initial opening After construction of Terminal 1 was completed by the Mostazafan Foundation, the Iranian Civil Aviation Organization decided to turn the management of operations along with the construction of the second terminal to the TAV consortium consisting of two Turkish and Akfin and an Austrian companies. The original opening was scheduled for of February 2004, the onset of the auspicious 10-day dawn. 1 to 11 February celebrations marking the anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution there were numerous issues surrounding the construction of the airport including the supply of fuel to the new airport and a delay in signing a deal with the Iranian oil ministry forced a delay in the opening of the airport until the 8th of May 2004 just prior to the opening on the 8th of May two local airlines refused to switch to the new airport Economic Hayat e No Daily quoted Ali Abedzadeh, director of semi privately owned Iran Aceman Airlines, as saying, We are not flying from an airport run by foreigners. TAV officials were ordered to withdraw their personnel and equipment from the airport on 7 May 2004, and operations were handed over to Iran Air. I think they the armed forces were given false reports that the Turks were still on the site, while they had all evacuated the airport by Friday. Airport manager Hossein Peruzi said. However, on 8 May, a few hours after the opening of airport, the Revolutionary Guards of the Iranian Armed Forces closed it, citing security fears over the use of foreigners in the running of the airport. Only one Emirates flight from Dubai was allowed to land. The second flight from Dubai, which was an Iran Air flight, was forced to land in Isfahan International Airport, because the Maribad Airport did not allow it to land there after the Imam Khomeini Airport was closed by the armed forces. The rest of the flights were diverted to Maribad. On the 11th of May, in a meeting of the Turkish Foreign Ministry under Secretary Yücel Ziyal and Iranian Foreign Minister Kemal Karazi, the Turkish expressed unease about the actions of the Iranian armed forces. The airport reopened on the 13th of May, as deputy head of Iran's Joint Chiefs of Staff Brigadier General Alireza Afshar stated, because foreign companies will no longer be in charge of the airport's operation, security obstacles are removed. Second opening 
In April 2005 the $350 million Imam Khomeini International Airport was reopened under the management of a consortium of four local airlines — Mayan Air, Aceman, Caspian Airlines and Kish Air — although no formal contract appeared to have been awarded. Soon later management of the airport was transferred to the Iran Airports Company which in behalf of Iranian Ministry of Roads and Transportation is in charge of operating all civil and governmental Iranian airports except some belongs to special organizations like oil ministry or armed forces. <laughs> Final opening On 26 October 2007, it was announced that as of 28 October 2007 at midnight, all international flights except those bound to and from Damascus, Jeddah and Medina were transferred to the Imam Khomeini International Airport and the IKA became Tehran's primary international airport. In 2016, as a result of worsening ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran, all Hajj flights from Iran were terminated, rendering IKA the only international gateway to Tehran. Statistics In 2013, the airport handled 4.756 million passengers, a 20% increase over the previous year. This made it the 11th busiest airport by international passenger traffic in the Middle East. The airport handled 98,904 tons of cargo in 2013. The total number of commercial aircraft movements was 36,827 in 2013. Topic: Annual traffic. Topic: Operations. Topic: Post-nuclear sanctions temporary boom Subsequent to the lifting of nuclear-related sanctions in mid-January 2016, Air France resumed flights to the Iranian capital after having suspended them in 2008. On 17 April 2016, Air Asia resumed Tehran services by offering direct flights from Bangkok and Kuala Lumpur to Tehran after having suspended them in 2012. These flights were subsequently cancelled in 2017 and 2018. Furthermore, various other airlines including Austrian, Alitalia, British Airways, KLM, China Southern Airlines and Thai Airways either resumed or ramped up frequency of their flights to Tehran. Nevertheless, some of these routes proved not profitable, resulting in the cancellation of Tehran routes by KLM, British Airways and Air France effective September 2018. Infrastructure Passenger terminals Terminal 1 IKIA's first active and as of July 2018, its only operational terminal has a total annual handling capacity of 6.5 million passengers and 120,000 tons of cargo. In 2017, it handled nearly 9 million passengers. Topic: <laughs> Salam Terminal, Terminal 2. The second terminal, called the Salam Terminal, is currently under construction, with a capacity of 5 million passengers per year. It was meant to be opened in June 2016, but financing issues led to its opening being delayed until the end of 2018. While originally intended as a dedicated pilgrimage terminal, according to Iran's Minister of Roads and Transportation Abbas Akhundi, it will be open to all varieties of flights. Iranshar Terminal, Terminal 3. The third terminal, called the Iranshar Terminal, is set to open in two to three years. It is currently in its planning phase, with the development contract awarded to the Dutch engineering firm Netherlands Airport Consultants (NACO), a subsidiary of Royal Haskening DHV. 
It will have an expected capacity of 20 million passengers per year, bringing the airport's total passenger capacity to 30 million passengers per year. Once opened, the current Terminal 1 will be used for domestic flights only. Runways There are currently two runways at IKA of which only one is operational. The operational runway is equipped with the ILS CAT-2 since August 2009. A second ILS system was purchased seven years ago to serve the other runway but the selling firm refused to set it up due to sanctions against Iran. The ILS was installed by Iranian technicians but malfunctioned and was indefinitely switched off. A third runway positioned to the south of the existing runways and passenger terminal is in final stages of construction. Hotels. <laughs> 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 In October 2015, French corporation Accor Hotels opened its Novotel and Ibis branded hotels on the airport premises, marking the entry of the first international hotel chain into the Iranian market since the 1979 revolution. The two hotels are connected to the main passenger terminal by a sky bridge passing through the airport metro station. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Ground Transportation Topic Metro The airport is served by the Imam Khomeini Airport Metro Station. The Metro connection for IKIA was opened on 7 August 2017, as a station on the new Tehran Metro Line 8, which is an extension of Tehran Metro Line 1. There are provisions for a second station serving the planned Iranshar Terminal, Terminal 3 in the future. Line 8 is the first 24-7 operational metro line in Tehran, serving midnight passengers from Darvaza Dowlet Metro Station to the Imam Khomeini Airport Metro Station. To arrive at Line 8, Line 1 passengers must transit from Shahed Metro Station to shar e Aftab Metro Station, then, at shar e Aftab Metro Station, passengers must board a Line 8 train. At present, departures from IKIA to Shar e Aftab Metro Station are limited to 6.40, 8 o'clock, 9.20, 10.40, 12.00 o'clock and 13.20 only. The duration of the journey between the two stations is approximately 35 minutes. At Shar e Aftab, passengers can change for Line 1 for journeys to on to central Tehran. According to the Tehran City Council the price of the ticket is 75,000 Iranian rials $1.50 see tickets and fares. Topic. High speed rail The airport is planned to be served by the Tehran Qam Isfahan High Speed Rail. The new link will enable direct rail access from the cities of Qam and Isfahan and a fast non stop connection to Tehran Railway Station. The line is currently in early planning and construction phase. Topic. Road Imam Khomeini Airport is accessible from Tehran by car, taxi and shuttle buses via Tehran Qam and Tehran Sava freeways. Airport operated taxis serve arriving passenger 24-7. In 2017, a typical taxi journey from the airport to the center of Tehran takes around 45 minutes which costs 750,000 Iranian rials $20 and are often light yellow Toyota Camry, Toyota RAV4, Volkswagen Caddy or IKCO Samand. Freeway 5 Freeway 7 Topic Accidents and Incidents 
On 15 July 2009, Caspian Airlines Flight 7908, a Tupolev Tu-154 bound for Yerevan, Armenia crashed into a field in the village of Farsian in Kazvin Province northwestern Iran, 16 minutes after takeoff from Imam Khomeini Airport. All 168 passengers and crew were killed. See also Iran Civil Aviation Organization Transport in Iran List of airports in Iran List of the busiest airports in Iran List of airlines of Iran